This is the first year Alabama has participated in the National Honey Bee Awareness Day. Honeybees are a vital part to our everyday life. Without the honeybee, we'd lose about a third of our, our food crops that we eat every day. A lot of people are not aware of that. We've got a, a live exhibit where you can actually see a queen. If you watch closely, you can see that queen laying eggs. Thank y'all for coming to mill around and taste the honeys, and y'all have a good time. Yeah, one of your honeybees escaped early. He went to take care of the hill. What, that honeycomb? Yes, sir. Good, isn't it? Yeah. Here you go. It's like any job or any project, you can make it difficult or you can make it easy. First thing you need to do is, is find a replicable beekeeper to mentor you, you know, to get you started. And also you can find a class, in the, we're going to offer one starting October the 4th this year here at Carnes Recreation Center. No, you buy for eight months. Oh, okay. Yeah, the ones I buy for eight months. Oh, okay. uh, but I get, if you had 10, <laughs> and that's 100% pure honey. Now a lot of this you see on the shelf story, it's been pasteurized and heated and treated for preservation. Where you see natural honey like out here, it's never been treated for anything like that. It's all straight out of hive. Within a 30 mile radius, the best place to buy you honey for allergies and you know anything for your own self. <laughs> A lot of bees in there. Down at my mom's house, we got there's some fruit trees there, and they would have you know maybe a basket of apples on them a year. Well, we put three hives down there, and the trees look like grapes. There's so many apples on them. It's just unreal the difference in the pollination of bees and what they do. But go to a local extension office, ask for people that can remove bees or do pollination. I'm retired, and you know I don't want to go crazy. And bees keep me peace at mind. <laughs> They're all my babies.